Uh, this, this is much better. Oh, fine, this is Bob much is standing better. by from Atlanta, uh. and he's shaking his head. It feels <laughs> yes, like old time. I finally have made it. Paul, what did we get wrong? Greeny, not since uh, my uh, freshman year at Harvard studying English Lit <laughs> have I heard anyone, especially Macbeth, utter so much sound and fury signifying nothing. Come on. Wow. It, it's real. You could do this in about 30 seconds, and you took longer than the Gettysburg Address. He did. Um, I was watching CNN while you were doing that, and I heard the word treasonous, and I think what you just got through saying could be treasonous or high crimes and misdemeanors. We know Saban's number one. I mean, let's not waste time. But you, you, there's more of a debate for number two than you let on. I mean, you talk about Jimbo Fisher. Yeah, I get that. He's won a national championship with Jameis Winston. But you're, you're, you're treating Dan Mullen like a bum on First Avenue. Dan Mullen uh, uh, is a quarterback whisperer. Uh, Alex Smith, Dak Prescott, Tim Tebow, Nick Fitzgerald. Have you heard of any of these guys? I mean, he deserves to be higher. I think Malzahn may be a little bit high. Dan Mullen significantly lower. Uh, other than that, it wasn't bad. Well, when Dan uh, Mullen was coaching Tim Tebow and when he was coaching Alex Smith, the head coach was Urban Meyer, right? He, he, that was at Utah and at Florida. Yeah. He wasn't the head coach in hey. either case. We've seen a lot of great well, I get uh, that. Uh, uh, coordinators assume the head coaching job, which we know you leave behind the X's and O's when you become the head coach and you become the CEO of this huge Fortune 500 company that is a major college football program. And let's see how that works out. It was good at Mississippi State, but this is a whole other ball of wax when you go to Florida, no? No, 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 it's right. Uh, but, but Florida is such a, an easier place to recruit from. I mean, he did a remarkable job. He had, a, he had Alabama beaten last year in Starkville. It took an, an amazing Jalen Hurts comeback uh, to win that game literally at the end. Uh, Dan Mullen's very smart. He, he's a great play caller. And, and I just think it's, a, it's an interesting conversation. Cur Kirby Smart is great. We all know what he did. But he's been there two years. He had one lousy year and one amazing year. I'm anxious to see what he does the rest of the way. Well, we had him on earlier this morning. Do you guys have, do you want to jump in here? No, 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 is, no, so no. We are literally here for the show. Know your role is what yeah, I was no, told. I know my right role here. right now. We had Kirby this morning. He has he has like the best recruiting class in the in, in, in the recent history of the sport coming in. Yes, I mean that that would would indicate an arrow pointing in the right direction. And he was one play away from winning the championship last year. He he, uh, he it's true. Uh, everything you've said is true. But he's also. Uh, having to replace a lot of incredible players on defense, a couple of on offense that we've, we've already talked about on the on NFL draft day. And he's got a schedule this year that I think is problematic. He, he will be the pick. He, he's the favorite every game by, by two touchdowns. Second week of the season, though, Greeny, they go to South Carolina. Laugh if you're in Manhattan, but South Carolina is a very dangerous place. Nick Saban took the number one team in the country there in 2010 as a three-touchdown favorite and got whack badly. It happens sometimes in Columbia. And you know, the, the road games at Missouri, uh, we, have a, we're not, we don't have a lot of time, but Drew Locke may be the best quarterback in the SEC, the best quarterback no one outside of Columbia, Missouri has ever heard of. So th there's also a trip to, to Baton Rouge. I, I know we're getting inside baseball here, but, but keep your eye on some of these stories. One thing Kirby Smart did, he recruited so well that Nick Saban decided, I have to dump a couple of guys on my staff who helped me win the national championship. He got rid of a few guys, and he brought in better recruiters, and now Alabama mm -hmm. is back to where it was before Kirby Smart left. And I feel better nice. about this now. We're going to mix this thing up all season long. The Paul Feinbaum Show, of course, weekdays on the ESPN app and on the SEC Network. Good to see you, Paul. Thank Good you stuff, so much. Paul. We'll keep doing this as we get this Thank thing going.